What is the most typical question that you are going to be asked during an interview? Think about it. That's right. Tell me about yourself. This is an important question. And today I'm going to show you why they ask you this question and of course how you are supposed to answer it. Why are you being asked this question? Mainly three reasons. The first one, are you the right fit or a good match for the job and the company? Second reason, are you better than the other candidate? What sets you apart? What makes you better or more qualified compared to the other candidates? The third reason why you'll probably be asked these questions has to do with your CV. In your CV, you should include a personal statement as a part of your background. That is probably the reason why the recruiter was interested about you. And that's probably why they call you for an interview. That's why during the interview, if they ask you this question, you should answer in the same way your background is written in your CV. The interviewer wants to check that whatever is written in your CV is actually true. And probably you will have to elaborate or explain a little bit further on your background. So that is the third reason. Now that we know why they ask you this question, it is time to learn how to answer it. Let's organize the answer to this question. The way we are going to organize the answer to this question attends to five steps or five blocks of information. First thing that you have to do is think about the format. You could start talking about the past, then the present, and then the future. Or you could start with the present, then the past, and then the future. Step number two, or block of information number two, should contain or should be about your experiences and successes. In number three, you are going to connect your current job or your last job with the job you are applying for. You need to align those. In step number four or block of information number four should be about your abilities and your strengths. And finally, block number five or step number five is about your personal statement. We have already talked about the personal statement. It should be part of your background and it should be part of the answer to this question. Let me elaborate a little bit more in detail on each one of those steps so we can come up with a nice answer to the question, tell me about yourself. If you're ready, let's dive in. The first thing that we need to decide is the format of our answer. I recommend to start your answer with your personal statement. And then you are going to decide whether you start talking about the past, then the present, and then the future, or if you start with the present, then the past, and then the future. If your most recent roles highlight your skills and qualifications, you should start talking about the present. However, if you are making a career transition or you haven't been working for some time and your experience is more closely related to the role, you should start talking about the past. If you want to learn how to write a personal statement, you can check my video where I explain the process that you have to follow in order to do so. Don't forget to check it. Now, imagine that you want to talk about your experiences and successes. How do you do that? You need to be clear on the job description of the role you are applying for. And then you need to align your experiences with that job description. 
It is a great idea to tell stories. You can follow this talk method if you want to tell a great story. I'm going to create another video that is going to help you become a great storyteller. It is very important to use the experience written in your CV and align it with the job description. You need to come up with an answer that is going to make clear that that experience is going to help you perform the job that you are applying for. You have to choose what experience or what experiences are more relevant for the job, whether they are present or past experiences. What about aligning your current job with the one you are applying for? That is another big thing that you have to consider. You need to discuss your current role and explain how that aligns with the job you are applying for. It's pretty much the same as when you speak about your experience. You need to align what you do or what you have done in the past with the job that you want to do. If you are applying for a more senior position, you may want to mention some extra responsibilities that you performed in the past or that you are performing at the moment that are going to help you with the job you are applying for. Another big part of the answer to tell me about yourself is the way you speak about your abilities and your strengths. For example, imagine that you were responsible for customer service. It would be great to say that you have improved customer services 15% in the time of one year. So think about your abilities and think about your strength and how they have helped you to improve your performance or to improve your results. But remember, always provide numbers. Numbers will help the interviewer understand the level of your success and how your abilities have helped you to accomplish that. Another big part of the answer should cover your personality. So apart from your personal statement, you have to insert in your answer keywords that highlight your personality. It is a great idea to think about the soft skills. So you can check any list of soft skills, like for example, great communication or very analytical, and incorporate those keywords words throughout the response to illustrate your answer throughout, whether you're talking about experiences or you're talking about successes, this is the time to use those keywords that are going to make clear what kind of personality you have. Well, that is all the information that you have to take into consideration when preparing for an interview. In the description of this video, you will find a link that is going to take you to a great article that covers all the things that I've talked about in this tutorial. So don't forget to check that. There you will also find some sample answers depending on the situation that you can use as a sample.